If you've ever searched YouTube for a way to be more productive and get more done, you've surely come across a few Ali Abdullah videos. Ali has some amazing content on his YouTube channel and some really creative video editing techniques you often see in his videos. Today, we'll be taking a look at how to replicate some of Ali Abdullah's most popular video editing effects. For all of these, I'll first show you how you can do it with the tools available in Final Cut Pro, then an easier way of achieving the same effect with paid plugins. The first technique we'll take a look at today is text behind a moving subject. You can do this in Final Cut Pro by adding and keyframing a mask over your subject. First, add a title above your clip, enter and adjust your text, and place it where you want it. Select the video clip below it and make a copy of it by holding down the Option key and dragging straight up. Place this as a top layer in your timeline. Turn down the opacity of this clip until you can just see the text behind it. Move your playhead to the start of your title clip. Press Command 5 to open your effects browser. Go to the Masks and Key In category, grab the Draw Mask, and add it to your clip. In the Viewer window, add control points to outline your subject where the subject and text overlap. Click on the first control point to close your mask. Add a keyframe here to the control points and the transform parameters in your mask, and turn the opacity of this clip back up to 100%. Move one or two frames ahead and adjust your mask to follow your subject's movements. Repeat this for the rest of your clip. Once at the end, move your playhead to somewhere in the middle of your title clip and adjust the feather and fall off sliders to soften the edges. Depending on the amount of movement in your clip, doing it this way might take a bit of time, but it's completely free. A much faster and easier way of achieving this effect is by using a plugin. For this, I recommend Keeper from FX Factory. Let's go back to our top clip and delete the draw mask to start over. Instead of manually rotoscoping our subject, we can use Keeper to do it for us. You just add it to your top clip and Keeper automatically finds and rotoscopes your subject for you. Let me just disable the bottom clips to show you. There's a few adjustments you can adjust in the inspector window to clean up the edges. It might not be exactly perfect, but Keeper did an amazing job on this clip in just seconds. I'll re-enable the bottom clip and the text layer for this easy, text behind a moving subject effect. Another element you often see in Ali's videos is title cards. To add a title card to your project, all you need is a background and some text. Title cards can be as simple or as complex as you want. To build a simple title card, go up to your generator's browser and first select a background. You can use a simple color or a gradient, a texture, or even one of Final Cut Pro's new dynamic backgrounds. Let's use a paper texture for this example. Next, select the title preset and add it above your background. Adjust the size and appearance of your text and ripple trim both your clips to the desired length. To animate your title card on and off in your project, you can use keyframes for manual animation or a much easier way of animation is by using one of Final Cut Pro's built-in transitions. First, combine your background clip and your title preset into a compound clip. This way, they'll both animate on as one unit. Next, go to your Transitions browser and add a transition to the start and end of your compound clip. These can be the same one, or you can use different transitions for the in and out animations. For this example, let's slide this title card in and maybe fade it out. Just like that, we have a simple animated title card for a project. If you want to get fancier with your title cards, I really like the M Title Pop plugin from Motion VFX. This plugin comes with 50 title card presets with really cool animations for both the background and the text. Using these can be as simple as dragging and dropping a preset over your project and replacing a text, or you can fine tune and customize each preset to look exactly the way you want. Last, but definitely not least, is a picture in picture effect we see in almost all of Ali's videos. You'll need three clips for this. You'll need a talking headshot that's going to be inside the picture in picture window, a B roll shot for your main window, and a background. Grab one of Final Cut Pro's animated backgrounds and add it to your timeline. Layer your B roll clip on top of it, and your talking headshot is the top layer. Go to your effects browser, select the masks and key in category, grab the shape mask effect, and add it to your top layer. Bring the feather amount down to zero and adjust the shape and size of your mask. Let's make this one the shape of a vertical video and make sure your subject is centered. Select your transform tool, scale down a bit and move your picture in picture window over to the right side of the screen. 
Now, Final Cut Pro doesn't let you add borders to your masks, but there is a workaround to add an animated border to this window. Grab another dynamic background and place it directly under your top clip. Select your top layer and press Command C to copy it. Click on the background layer under it and press Shift Command V to paste the attributes. Make sure the transform parameters and the shape mask effect are selected and click the paste button. Go to the inspector window, select your mask, and drag out on the green handles a bit in your viewer window to add a border to your picture in picture window. Let's move on to our next clip. Select your B-roll clip in the timeline and also add a shape mask to it. Bring the feather amount down to zero again and set the curvature to match a clip above it, which was 5%. Grab the green mask handles in the viewer window and drag them out towards the edges of the clip so you don't crop off too much of your image. Just like before, use the transform tool to scale down and reposition your clip to reveal some of the background for this cool picture in picture effect. Just like the other effects, this is way faster and easier with a plugin. For picture in picture effects, I love using the picture in picture for Final Cut Pro plugin from Dylan Bates. Just like before, stack your three clips on top of each other in your timeline. Add the picture in picture effect to your two top clips. For the top image, turn on the in and out animations and set the shape type to vertical rectangle. Add some roundness to the corners, bring down the scale a bit and move this window to the right side of the screen. If you want to, you can also adjust the border. For the B-roll clip, set the shape type to rectangle, bring down the scale a bit to reveal a background clip and disable a border. Same result as before in just fraction of the time. All the plugins I used in this video will be linked in the description below. This video was not sponsored by anyone, but they are affiliate links. Also, I actually enjoy making these videos quite a bit, so let me know in the comments below whose editing style you'd like to see featured in one of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here in the next one.